Hello, I'm Nitin Dahad with the e Times, and uh, today I'm talking to Sandeep Kumar, who's the CEO of LNT Semiconductor. Sandeep, hello. Hi, hi, Nitin. How, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Uh, good. So, so uh, uh, LNT Semiconductor, a new new entity. Tell me a little bit about uh, uh, what what, what uh, your plan is. What's this uh, vision? So LNT Semiconductor is intends to be the first big fabulous multinational company headquartered out of India. Uh, so far, uh, there's a lot of investment going into India on the infrastructure side in FAB and OSAT, but we need an Indian semiconductor company, product company, in order to fill those FABs. Right. And that's what we are planning to do. No, I mean, uh, we're here at Semicon India, and uh, driving from Delhi to Noida, you see all these billboards saying, yeah, India's uh, uh, semiconductor, fabulous semiconductor ecosystem, and yeah, there's the semiconductor parks and all that. What exactly are you going to develop? Yeah. Uh, I mean, uh, first I'll give you a picture on India. You sure. know, uh, India started this journey two years ago. Mm. And the government has done a very amazing job in understanding and adapting to what is, you know, the market feedback on yeah. their policies and highly flexible and highly innovative. Right. And so we were, uh, two years ago, it was trying to make the world aware. Amazing job in two years, we are at a place where every CEO of every major semiconductor player in the ecosystem, all the way from applied material to NXP, is at Semicon India. Yeah, we, we, we saw and the whole lineup uh, over the last two days yeah, here. It's just amazing. Yeah. So I think now, you know, once the first fab was an, or facility was announced by Micron, uh, you go through any, any uh, technology or adoption goes through some curves and right now we are in stage two where people ha have said okay first mover is done we better it's the FOMA yeah now people are coming because the, it's the fear of missing out on something sure uh, that might be you know it's happening and hopefully this will now go into a big crescendo and then you will have the gold rush that gold rush is still two two years away yeah. I would say. And then there will be, you know, five years of gold rush and then there will be consolidation. And that's just how uh, things evolve. So it's, India is on a high, I would say, a fast track to achieve that. And, and on, on, is that specifically also on the fabulous? Because that's kind of where you're... The you're fabulous is just beginning. Okay. And so I would say, uh, you know, fabulous, uh, building a fabulous industry and using that as the uh, motivating driver for... Uh, country or uh, policy making is tougher. Yeah. So I think they took the right path. Okay. Uh, because it's easier to say we are building fabs than to say I'm building a fabless ecosystem. Yeah. But uh, now uh, the government is already moving in that direction. And you know, LNT uh, plans to be the first and the biggest. Uh, and we uh, purposely chose, you know, we studied this and we chose three sectors which we feel are of strategic importance for India. Mm. Uh, and those are automotive, energy, and industrial sectors. And then we chose products that we can make and compete against the global players. Yeah. Uh, so we are making smart analog, smart RF, smart sensing, and smart power devices. And then we are building uh, AI and uh, compute processing systems for those sectors uh, and for those products. So it's not, and that's why we call them smart, okay. because they have built-in compute and AI algorithms sure. and processors in order to you know, process, let's say, 20 cameras at the same time. Yeah, uh, which, so which is a big the, thing. Um, just to, to go back, because I mean, maybe uh, EE Times audience doesn't understand the organization behind this, uh, Larson and Tubro L&T. Mm. Uh, first of all, uh, tell us about the scale of this, but also why did they decide to go into semiconductors? So LNT is uh, full name is Larson and Tubro. Yeah, definitely not Indian names. Okay, <laughs> uh, they were two Danes. Yeah. who came to India before independence. Sure, in order to escape the World War. Okay, and they came here because this was the safe place to be. Right, and they settled down here and they started a construction business. Never went back. 
So LNT is a 100% Indian company. It just happened to be started by and two games. And it's grown into a huge conglomerate. And now it is a $30 billion revenue, yeah. $60 billion market cap. Mm. And they are building, they've built half the airports in India, half the metros in India. They're building the first high-speed train. Yeah. They are the only builders of ships and submarines and tanks that are domestic. They are very high, smart buildings, smart cities. Sure. Uh, roughly 20 billion of that 30 billion comes from India. Okay. But 10 billion comes from abroad. Right. So they have operations in 50 countries. They built the Dubai airport. They built a FIFA stadium in Qatar. So very big. And when they build, it's not just the concrete. It's the entire infrastructure, the network, the energy, the power, all of that. They're sure. building the largest power, uh, solar power plant in Saudi Arabia. Okay. So they're big okay. internationally. And, and, and I think they also had an operation in Silicon Valley a few years ago in terms of design services. Yes, so they yeah. still do. Okay. Uh, and so about 10 years ago, uh, uh, they moved from high precision engineering, which is what they have been doing up till now, yeah. uh, and said they want to diversify into digital transformation. Okay. And in order to do that, they created LTI Mindtree, which is now the biggest uh, service IT software services company in the world. It's okay. about six or seven billion in revenue. Right. Then they created LTTS, which is engineering services. Uh, and they have data center uh, business. They have e-commerce business. They have uh, networking business. So it's and, pretty broad. Uh, pretty broad, and yeah. then nine months ago they said we want to get into semiconductors. Yeah, and then and you came back from the U.S. to uh, right. to sort of head this up. Yeah, it's a very interesting story. My uh, IIT Delhi, very very close classmate, heads L and T's defense business. Yeah, and he reached out three years ago and said, "You've been doing this all around the world. It's time for you to come back and pay back to India." Right, and I was. Yes, let's do it, so that's kind okay. of what I mean. Now let's get down to some news. Uh, here, I think you've announced some big news. Tell us what that is. Uh, there's a number of big news, but yeah. the big, you know, from a public side is, one of the big news is uh, we have signed a processor, a broad processor licensing agreement with IBM. Okay. Uh, and what does broad mean? So they are, you know, IBM is one of the oldest semiconductor companies and one of the oldest processor companies. In fact, the power PC uh, yeah. that they developed is the backbone for Apple. Yeah. Uh, so we have a license to the Power 10, but we also have a license to their AI processing system that goes into data centers. Okay. And we have a license to their uh, image processing, which can handle you know, a large amount of data and pa parallel process it. And we have that IP, we have the rights to customize that IP for our needs and own the, jointly own the customized. So it's not just, and then build products using that. It should, you know, we will start rolling out products based on that in the next three years for automotive, industrial, and energy markets. And maybe also for, you know, servers and data centers. Okay, so that's kind of that's addressing your AI offering then, I guess. AI offering, so, but still, very much focused on the three verticals. Yeah. And uh, very much focused on uh, understanding the, in, unlike pure data applications, which is what uh, NVIDIA or others are, uh, Qualcomm here, we are very much focused on taking a lot of sensory input data. Right. So we create the sensors, create the inputs, process the information using our systems, and then generate the outputs to create actuation. Okay. So it is about moving a motor or moving the wheel of a car or moving the energy across a transmission system. Yeah. Uh, so it is a full loop. It is not pure data processing for a user interface, consumer interface. Right, okay. This is a business application in all cases. And, and you said it's one of several announcements. What are the other, in summary, quick? Uh, so the other announcements are, you know, uh, we have, uh, we are building a, you know, a team that can do roughly 15, products in parallel, okay. and that team build out is happening very fast. We okay. have 250 people, we have operations in Austin, in Munich, in Tokyo, in Bangalore, in Chennai, in Noida, uh, but uh, all the products have that we are building have a lead customer. So okay. the way we are approaching it is, you know, we build, uh, we get a customer and then we build for them. 
So we have an agreement on, with CP Plus that was announced, which is on surveillance and security cameras okay. for industrial and consumer applications and infrastructure applications. We have an agreement with the leading EV uh, two-wheeler company in India uh, to build their body Bajaj. control. Uh, name will come out in a week, so okay. I just don't want to take out that. Okay. Uh, it's going to get announced. We have uh, agreements with the uh, number one industrial fan and refrigeration consumer appliance company uh, that is uh, rolling out products uh, using our motor control solutions. Uh, we have also agreement with another automotive company on a body control module okay. and a chassis control. So we are, uh, these are all, uh, there are six products in the pipeline yep. based on six customers and then we have another 20 plus uh, discussions in very advanced stages uh, in Europe, Japan, and US. Right. Uh, which will hopefully be turning into agreements in the next three, four months and fill up that 15 pipeline. You've been really busy, haven't you? We're busy. <laughs> but <laughs> that semiconductor, you know, it, you either move fast or you don't get into this business. Well, Sandeep, thank you very much for that enlightenment. Thanks, thank you. Nathan. All right. Good to meet you.